Hey, hey everybody, happy spring, Ray Horvath Productions, and first of all I apologize for not putting up a video in a long time. As always, it's been very busy at work, and we are at the top of a rock, or a small mountain, here in the Doniana Range. This is closer to town than most of the other videos, but basically up against the lava rock face here and on the side just drove up here and thought I'd give you my thoughts and uh, shoot the video from up here and I'd like to ask everybody to hit that like and subscribe button you guys it really helps me out it doesn't cost you guys anything um, hit that subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see any future videos I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the support so in the distance there is the Doniana Range where we normally ride. We stopped up here. I thought what better spot than the top of a mountain to do uh, the video. But this is going to be a couple of things. This is my full review and my thoughts after having the shock therapy done in Phoenix. Um, by the guys out there, this is my full impression and review of the shock therapy system that was put on out in Phoenix on my uh, 2020 KRX and I'm out here with my brother-in-law and he's got his two-seat Terex LE he's got some new tires on it but um kind of on the side of a hill here I don't think the camera's doing that justice but this is kind of where we're at but anyway guys after owning this now for about four months um, I've got to say it's worth the money if you guys are thinking about it or if anybody you know is thinking of ordering their kits it really makes a difference on the the ride the plushness you can tell the difference between night and day uh, go see those guys out of shock therapy and I had the full spring and shock work done it is kind of spendy but you will see results for sure so couple of things it's gonna change the entire plushness of your ride no matter what type of machine you have and if sorry if it's windy kind of picking up some wind up here you're gonna notice an immediate difference now the KRX I stated before in my previous videos it already has quite the plush ride straight from the factory the geometry on this thing is perfect they really did some serious R&D when developing the suspension on this stock. The shock therapy, it's just going to take it to the next level. Uh, the way it handles, the way it rides through the whoops, through the sand, through the bumps, through the rocks, as stuff like this up here, it just kind of tears it up and um, I would do it again if I had another side-by-side -side, I would definitely do it again uh, and they do it on all the vehicles they pretty much have a kit for whatever you own you can order it straight from them or you can do like I did and drive out there and have them put it on for you but it's entirely up to you but it's well worth it and um, I'll put a link to their website down in the description below but this thing is coming up on about 6,000 miles now. Uh, I still haven't had any issues, knock on wood. But the thing I want to talk about on this video, is besides the suspension, um, is going to be the new tires. These are the Patagonia Milestar. So far, I'm kind of mixed opinion on them. They did improve the ride a lot better, but I've noticed they're not wearing as well as the X comps did. Now they are lighter tires, they're eight ply, they're uh, Kevlar belted instead of steel, so I did it for the weight. But you can tell, especially on the rear ones, and I know that's normal, but they are wearing fairly quickly. Um, maybe that's just me, but I'll revisit that in the next video as well to kind of see what the wear is. As far as the grip, and performance on them I'm very happy with it they do well 
they uh, they grip well in the sand, the rock, and uh, they climb well. I think they hold their own. And I can notice a difference in the steering with the rounded version versus the flat that I had on the XCOMs. But back to the suspension. I finally pieced together some video for you that we shot with the drone and various shots um, like this one. And you will just see the suspension, you can see it working. I mean, you can really see it doing its job and kind of eating up whatever gets thrown at it like that and then in this shot here and that's my brother-in-law driving so I could get some shots on it but it just kind of eats up and it is a lot less violent in the cab on these trails than it was on the stock now don't expect it to be like a super machine where you don't feel anything you're always gonna feel the bumps but let me tell you something it's improved it at least 40 50 percent I can notice that much of a difference uh, especially if you come at high speeds through the whoops take these turns and the cornering in this thing you have a lot more stability and control in the cornering because they remove that dual spring that you get from stock that forces that rear tire down so they can pass the federal inspection so it eliminates that and it's actually put to use into the suspension and you can tune this any way you want so you still have if you have the shock work done with them you still have your clickers on your Fox they do the internals for you and you the springs are gonna settle on this one time um, these shock therapy springs they're a really high grade steel they have information on it on their website and they will settle one time but you're going to eliminate all the spring sag that you would have with stock springs and i was getting that on my stock ones i mean you could just see over time they were just compressing these settle one time you make one adjustment and then you never have to do it again that's it so finally i've got these kind of tuned in a happy medium to where i like it where it does extremely well at low speeds and moderate speeds now some guys you'll tune it you can give it a little more firmness if you're you know doing open desert and hitting the the whoops really really fast i've got mine tuned to where i have a plush ride in the rock climbing department just like here you know you come up a hill like this and you have a ton of rock. I mean, you want that plushness at slow speed as well. But I've got it kind of a happy medium where I can hit the whoops, you know, 30, 35 miles an hour up to 40, and it's really plush and really soft. And if you guys decide to have this done, you can tune it any way you want for your machine. And they, if they do the work for you, they basically take all of your information, your weight, what you carry, and they adjust it for you which is why i like having it done out there because it takes the guesswork out for me so i've got it tuned in the way i like it um everybody's asking me would i do it again i would absolutely i would it really improved the ride in the machine dramatically and it's like a day and night difference i noticed it progressing more as time went on and as the spring settled um, when you first get it you're like wow this is different but it settled and it really really um, started kind of honing itself and getting better and then once I made those adjustments you know you're good to go so if it bottoms out the first time give it a couple clicks if it still bottoms out click one more until it doesn't bottom out on what you're used to riding on once you get that then you're good to go but you'll see the stability, even the body roll, it affects it so much and it changed it for the best. So thumbs up to the guys out at uh, Shock Therapy. I'm really enjoying it. Thanks a lot, Steve, for hooking us up and your crew out there. You guys did a phenomenal job and you guys were really nice to all of us when we were out there, gave us some good information. That's another thing. They really, really share info with you when you go out there. They're they're all eager to answer questions and help you um, understand what they're doing and how to tune these things in and get them the way you want them.
but I'll throw the rest of this footage up here you can see it just some amazing I did this same run with the shocks from the factory the suspension from the factory wow it just handles it way different and I can't you've got to be in the cockpit to understand the difference um, but anyway uh, again I appreciate all the support all the questions if tell me what you guys think do you have a shock therapy kit on your machine Are you planning on getting one you know drop a comment below I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability and um, I think it's worth it guys for those of you that do it yourself order them have them sent to you and put them on but uh, really really cool and man it turned out to be a, a really nice day this doesn't look like we're very high up, but man, it sure is. And there is Las Cruces, New Mexico, or the outskirts of it in the background there. All right, guys, I will see everybody in the next video. I hope everybody has a great spring. Um, emails, questions down below. Take care.